Premier Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Alstom Obunye has unveiled its latest educational initiative, a new welding school at a secondary school in the Duduza Township near Nigel. Natasha Oerendal tells us more. In an effort to create a strong pipeline of trained welders for the skill strap manufacturing industry in South Africa, the Alstom Foundation's new Isibonel Wisishle Welding School will start equipping grade 10 to 12 high school students with much needed welding skills. Alstom Welding School trainer Solomon Tena discusses this further. As the company Alstom Mubunye, we are plowing back to the community. Uh, we have just donated uh, this training facility. We have to refurbish it, turn it into a welding workshop. It used to be a carpentry shop. Now it has been totally completely changed into a welding, welding workshop. So we are looking at the role of uh, about 30 students but it's going to be in staggered approach. It's going to be from grade 10. The following is going to be grade 11 up until they get the matriculate qualification. And out of that, we're looking if we have learners who would pass with flying colors, some of them will be taken to our company to further their their, their studies in welding. Started in January, the mechanical technology, welding and metalwork subject now forms part of the technical scope of the senior high school learners. The project also feeds into Alstom Abunia's own in-house accredited welding school at its 80,000 meter square facility in Nigel, which absorbs 10 welding learners each year. The candidates graduating from the welding school will have the opportunity to apply for a position in the accredited program to further their skills or take what they have already learned to market. Other news making headlines. Cape Town drought hits tourism and threatens province's credit ratings. And metal sector poised for second consecutive year of growth. As the ongoing drought and resultant water crisis threatens Cape Town's credit ratings and GDP growth, warnings of the impact of the drought on the local tourism industry are mounting. On average, 1% of the population uh, of Cape Town is made up of international tourists. You add domestic tourists and you get to 2.4% and it's a real challenge spotting those tourists as a percentage of the population. This is our main message to you and to your clients and to the international media. This very small number of, of citizens or residents in Cape Town at any one time is contributing to the creation of 300 or the sus uh, sustaining of 300,000 jobs in the Western Cape and a 40 billion rand contribution to the Cape economy. So we've seen extraordinary uh, performance in terms of hospitality groups and tourists cutting their usage of water. You'll hear just now about uh, some of the things that Sogo has done uh, to get uh, to change the way tourists sa uh, start saving like locals. But really, when you do the cost benefit of the benefit that tourism brings to the Cape versus the cost that these numbers impose on the water system, it's overwhelmingly a positive contribution. South Africa's metals and engineering sector is poised for a second consecutive year of modest growth, with CIFSA forecasting a 1.1% expansion for 2018. 2017 was a much better year for the sector as it rebounded from a difficult recessionary phase, registering an improved annual growth of 2.7% as you can see, and the performance in 2017 highlights the sector's resilience despite high volatility and low levels of production in the preceding years. Despite the improvement in growth in 2017 in the sector, factors weighing on potential growth over the past decade are likely to persist over the next five years. Although investment growth is expected to recover from its recent weakness, it is unlikely to return to elevated pre-crisis levels if the volatility in production persists. Our focus is for the entire M&E sector to expand modestly by 1.1% in 2018-2019. The various subsectors will register varied levels of growth, with some expanding and others contracting in 2018. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.